G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Yes, we've got sunshine and we're up at our favorite beach at Harvey Bay and look what I just saw. Barely missed it uh, with a doggy. Oh my goodness, it is a uh, it is hole on the bottom. I thought for sure they would have like a big, big break right there because it looked way too good on top. Like look at this spindle everyone. He is a bit discolored. It's supposed to be a cream color, but he's got like his tip. He's got his nice siphon tail. Okay, what a great one to start us off with. Oh my goodness, like 10 steps later, everyone forget the spindle. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he is hole in the bottom. I absolutely love these guys. Um, I only find them around here and I don't find them very often. I think I've only found like two or three others and this one's actually got like a very nice orange color oh super excited for him um he looks like an abalone shell right or like an ear shell or an ear moon snail but no he's actually a top snail a top shell he is the swollen wide mouth top shell there we go oh my goodness okay he might uh he might already be a strong contender for the favorite not gonna lie i really like these things I don't know why, it just looks like this one's resting there kind of funny. Um, here we go, it's our first moon snail for the day. I didn't actually think it would have a nice lip, but it does have a nice lip, it's got a nice colour. This guy is a sorted moon snail, lovely red on the bottom means it's a sorted moon snail. These guys are sometimes often called the leaden moon snails because of their colour as well. It's like, um, I don't know, like a dirty colour, sorted, leaden, it's all good. <laughs> I think it's a nice colour. We've got two goodies here, first of all I saw this guy. Oh my goodness, he is whole. I wasn't sure with it under the uh, under the sand like that. Oh, he's nice. I'm sorry, there is a lot of sand on him. Oh, he's got lovely red on the back as well. This one should be a leopard scallop. They are very, very thin, but it's not a flat half of a scallop. It's just like a very thin scallop, I believe. He's sometimes also called a carmine banded scallop because of those lovely carmine colors on him, those like reddish pinks. I'm gonna put him into the uh, mystery bucket of chaos. And uh, this one, oh, he is. Is he? Yeah, he's almost whole. He's missing a bit of his tip. This guy looks like a Campbell's strombus, but it's actually the Vitate conch, I believe. It's a little bit more uncommon and a little bit bigger than the Campbell's strombuses that we find here. Why not? I think I want you. Um, I'm, I'm never really sure what these guys are. I've been calling them Pacific Bean Clams whenever I find them. Oh, look at that. Hopefully it is the first of many. Let's check him out. Yeah, he's not too bad. A little bit broken on that lip, but uh, I don't mind. He is the first absolutely beautiful bladder moon snail today. Look at all those different colors inside of him. Okay, yep, that is um coming with me and hopefully I find dozens more today. That is very red. How are you on top? You are extremely nice on top. It could be because there was still water sitting in it, making its shell look a bit, you know, more vibrant with color. But uh, my goodness, it is an extremely nice scaly scallop. You know what, I do want this little guy. Yes, he is very adorable. It is a little turkey wing, an Indo-Pacific arc shell. And because I haven't had enough of bivalves yet, here we go. I'm also going to take this little Australian jingle shell. Oh, I don't see many of these here. Um, so whenever I do see one, I usually pick them up, although I, I ignore a lot of limpets at home. This one is a keyhole limpet. It's, um, oh, I don't know if it's the Duke's keyhole limpet. It could just be the regular kind that we sometimes find. I am occasionally zigzagging down to the water's edge. This one looks like he's got like a tip. Oh, he's actually colorful on top, everyone. Hello. Yep, this guy is a pretty nice Campbell's strombus. It's a type of conch shell. They are like probably the most common conch on this beach. Oh, okay, there is a literal shell pile here. I mean, how could it be anything other than a literal shell pile? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, got myself a little, um, oh, it's a green tinted cowrie. This is what it looks like when it's very faded. Um, you can't really find good cowries here. Anyway, let's see what else is in this big old pile. I have been picking up a few of these from the shell piles. Um, I'm sorry, I should probably show it off. It is a blackish marguerite. They're a really common top shell from here. At least I think it's a top shell anyway. So um, yeah, I might pick up a few if I see them. Here we go, there's also a little baby one right there. He's very adorable as well. Ooh, sneaky. Oh, it's kind of a nice one. Look at him. Got myself the first little murex today, a little scary murex. Got him in my hand with a couple of blackish marguerites and a blackened strawberry top shells. I think I'm also gonna pick up another top shell that I saw. Yeah, this one. Got myself a shrewd top shell right there. 
And another top shell. He's just a little guy. They can get a lot bigger from here. It is a splendid top shell. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at you. How broken are you? You know what? I thought that was very broken, but he's just a little bit broken down on that base there. Okay. Got myself a baby Baylor shell with some nice patterns on him. He is very adorable. I think I'll take him even with that little bit of chippage right there because, uh, you know, I don't actually find terribly many with a nice pattern on them. Ooh, I stopped to uh, pick up him and thought to myself, okay, you know, thinking a step ahead, where am I going to wash this guy out? Obviously, it's right here. There is another little baby. Oh, look at his lovely orange colors. I'm sorry, let me show you the Baylor shell first. Got myself another little Baylor shell. He is very cute, a lot smaller than the one I literally just picked up, but he's got his full lip. We'll put him away for now. And we got ourselves another beautiful scaly scallop. Look at all those like lovely kind of light colors through him. Okay, yep, he's another one for the bucket. There we go, a rather common shell from here. I got myself the first propeller arc for the day. And also, um, I don't think it's an arc shell, this one, it's a Venus shell. Got myself a lovely frilled Venus as well. Oh, yes, please, please be whole. He's... Oh, he is whole. Sometimes these guys have like a massive chunk missing on that bottom, but no, this guy is perfect. It is a beautiful jeweled dog whelk. They're usually more of a cream or a yellow color. This one, oh, sorry, like a white color, I mean. This one's gone orangey yellow. I think it's because of the mangroves around here. They turn a lot of the shells this color after a while. This one's got a very vibrant circle of red around it. Um, oh, um, do I like him? He's a little bit spiky. Do I like him? I think I maybe like him. I, I've been calling this one the like violet colored uh, thorny oyster. I'm not actually sure if that's right. He's got some nice kind of like, I don't know, splotchy patterns on him. Oh, look at him just sitting in front of the, uh, in front of the big pile of shells right here. He's like, nope, I'm going to stand out from the crowd. So someone definitely picks me up. Here we go. He's got a perfect lip, by the way. He's very nice. It is a gorgeous bladder moon snail. That is the second one today. When I crouched down, I also did not see right away that, the, that this one was here. Oh my goodness. Got myself another skin. Gary Murex. Hello, this one. Uh, yeah, he's got most of his tip. Okay. Um, I think I found these before from here and I've been calling them the variable mitre. I'm just going to assume that's right. There we go. Oh, I like the color on this one. This is a nice mud arc right here. Here we go. Um, yeah, they're fairly common here. There are a lot of arc shells and cockle shells that just wash ashore. Um, so you, you kind of like got to keep an eye out for the ones that got like their really nice ridges still intact, that still have some nice colors that aren't too old. Um, I think this one fits the bill actually. It looks pretty good. There is, uh, there is a lot of broken shells and rocks in the, uh, in the good old shell piles today, but uh, there are some goodies just like sitting right on top. And I really want this guy. He has probably faded a bit, but it's given him this very nice pink and peach color. It is the curved half of a commercial scallop. There are, they're fairly common here, but they are some of the nice commercial scallops that I've seen. Ooh. I am never very sure about these guys, but there are sometimes some very large Venus clams from here. Um, I forget if I called it the youthful Venus or it's actually something else, but uh, oh, he's actually nice and yellow on the back. Anyway, it's probably, uh, I think it's probably the largest Venus shell that I see from here. Oh, that one is sneaky. I nearly missed him entirely. Let's get the sand off. There we go. He is a lovely little commercial scallop flat. The commercial scallops have a curved half like we saw earlier, and they also got this lovely flat half. Um, um, I don't know. It's hard to say which one I like more. I think I like the flats more. This moon snail has lovely brown in it. Is it? Oh, it is a nice one on the top too. It is the yellow and like blue eyed variety of the uh, bladder moon snails. Actually, pretty much all of the bladder moon snails have lovely blue eyes from here. Look at the patterns on this guy. Is he like Oh, is he whole on the other side? Oh, he is. Oh my goodness. He's got his little like little like tips there. The little um the little tags that pop out. I think are called orlicles. I never know if I'm getting that right though. Wow. He's even like a very nice color on the back. Wow. This guy is a stranger's scallop. I usually find them extremely like worn away and sun bleached from here. This one's got his lovely textures, his lovely reddish and pinkish patterns, a little bit of yellow or peach color right in there. Oh, that is a very nice scallop. Okay. And um, <laughs> while, I'm, <laughs> while I'm down here, I might as well also pick up this little guy. It looks like I've got for myself um, maybe a glory scallop. I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, doing very well on the scallops today. Another flat scallop epic reveal time. 
You know, that's not a bad one. I wasn't sure it looked very faded on the back, but on the front, he still looks like he's got a lot of red. These guys are always red, by the way. I don't know if that's like typical or if it's just the ones in this area. Anyway, it is another commercial scallop flat. I was just thinking that I had not found enough bladder moon snails yet. Here we go. Got myself another one for the bucket. That scallop is like, is very wet, but it looks very red. It's, um, oh yeah, I thought it was going to be much more redder on the on the front. It's, um, it's a very nice orange brown color. It is yet another stranger's scallop with all of his lovely textures on top. Oh, that one looks very saturated around the edges. It's, oh, it's nice on the top too. It's got a very saturated red color. Alrighty, it is once again another lovely commercial scallop flat. It's just a little one this time. They can get a lot larger as well. I would have walked right past that if I did not uh, stop to put on some more sunscreen on my hands. Here we go. It is a lovely little moon snail right here with his double bands. He is the aptly named double banded moon snail. There we go, sitting right on top of the shell pile. Uh, yes, it is hole on top. It is a rather nice burnt edged rock shell. Uh, it is a type of droop shell. And uh, yeah, this guy looks a bit sun bleached, but I'm going to take him anyway. This one is a formidable turret. Let's see if I can just like get some water on him so we can see his color again. Yep, there we go. He would be a nice kind of burnt orange and brown color. And another keyhole limpet. There we go. Um, once again, I'm not sure if that is a Duke's keyhole limpet. They usually have like almost like three big horns at the top if they do. I think it's just a regular keyhole limpet. Oh, lucky one. And I see another one too. Two little commercial scallop flats. Oh my goodness. I think this one over here is a bit better. That one's got like a tiny chunk missing on the top. But uh, yeah, oh my goodness. What little cutie patooties I got this time. I am being extremely picky with strombuses today. I've only stopped to pick up like, mm, like one or two. Here we go. Got ourselves another one. Got some nice patterns on him. Missing his tip. I almost wasn't going to pick him up, but I wanted to, uh, oh, forgive that wind. I wanted to stop for this one. Look at this one. A little juvenile strombus. He's got kind of like a nice pink color on him. Okay. Hopefully like I saw a picture of an all pink strombus the other day. I really want to find an all pink mature one for myself from here today. And yes, why not? We will take this conical moon snail as well. Wow. Look at that one. Is it another leopard scallop? Um, it's a bit faded, but I think it might be another leopard scallop. Yeah. My goodness. That is like the second or third one today. There we go. I knew I was bound to come across another bladder moon snail if I looked long enough. Um, Wow, it's actually a very nice one. Got a full lip on him. Got some nice striations of color. It is the gray green colored bladder moon snail. They are just like one of my favorite shells to find from here. Another type of moon snail. It's, I mean, it's not bad on top. It's not the best, but it's not bad. This guy is a calf moon snail. Just a little bit different. It's a bit bigger with um, thicker bands on it than the double banded moon snail I found earlier. I think I've suddenly arrived uh, at the moon snail side of the beach. Yep, got myself a very small baby bladder moon snail. So sneaky. All the moon snails are at the, uh, the back of the beach. I haven't been checking the top rack line yet. Here we go. Got myself yet another gorgeous fella. I don't think I've uh, picked up one of these today. It's just a small one. It is a little Hanes turban. I think that might be a predator hole right there. I'm not very sure. I found a bunch of these the last time I was here, but so far this is like literally the first one I've come across cross. Suddenly there is just like, there is plenty of moon snails to go around. Here we go. It is a yellow colored bladder moon snail. I actually don't know why some of them are yellow colored and some of them are like gray colored. They both live on the mud flats. I think they both live in the same area. It's just very unusual. Um, you'll have to tell me which ones you like more, the yellow ones or the gray green ones. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Well, everyone, it was absolutely wonderful to be back in the sunshine today. Absolutely wonderful to be back to Harvey Bay as well after, a, I don't know, a month and a half away or thereabouts. But, uh, but anyway, it is time to talk about a favorite now. So if you do have a favorite as well, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I found a lot of typical things, but also a few very interesting uh, shells as well. First of all, I want to give a special mention to the beautiful leopard scallop. Always such a joy to find one of these. So probably uh, one of the scallops that I see the least of here. I also saw a couple of very lovely flats today. I think I like this little flat the best. He's wonderful. And I want to give a special mention to uh, 
to this little juvenile Campbell's Strombus with a slight pink coloration. It was very wishful thinking to hope that I would find a fully mature pink one like what I saw on the internet last week, but uh, who knows, there's still the afternoon in the next episode to go, so I mean, I'll just keep my fingers crossed. But uh, as for my favorite, my goodness, you know what? It was like the second shell find. It continued to be my favorite throughout the entire day. It's going to be this guy. He is extremely odd. I don't know if people like this guy, but I think he's kind of fun. The wide mouth, oh sorry, the swollen wide mouth top shell is my favorite for the day. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.